My incredible Galapagos experience began aboard the SS Mary Ann, a sailboat that we took all around the beautiful islands of the Eastern Galapagos, beginning on Hainoveza Island, which was frankly booby central. We saw red-footed boobies, Nazca boobies, and even blue-footed boobies. The Galapagos Islands are some of the most ecologically unique on planet Earth. On each island, you'll see different animals, each of whom arrived there by different means. My sailing trip was incredible, but my favorite part was yet to come. Okay, hi. <laughs> it's my first time using this thing, this rig, and I'm like, really nervous because my camera, my beautiful baby is in here and I just, I, I tested it twice but I just really don't want the camera to flood. Oh wow, I'm so nervous I put this shirt on backwards, it's so, fingers crossed. Hey update, swimming with the rig is awesome, it's tons of fun and I swam with turtles and sea lions and penguins. Where in the world can you do that all together? Uh, check it out, it's amazing. is tortoise day <laughs> so our first little stop is los gemelos which means the twins they have pretty impressive spanish skills no i don't <laughs> okay before we see tortoises we've come to look at a hole wow <laughs> a big hole my favorite kind <laughs> kind of no good, terrible, lazy, unhealthy person would leave a cigarette butt on the ground in this beautiful natural place. Oh. Right, so basically the tortoises come here because they, during the dry season, which is right now, this is where they can get stuff to eat, so they're, they're wild and they just come and go as they please but there's so many here that this enterprising person decided to create sort of a, a tourist attraction by opening up her farm to tourists wanting to see these giant tortoises. Respect, that's very smart. I'm gonna find me my very own tortoise to hang out with. Sit down quietly and earn its trust. Learn its kind and gentle ways. And then we will be friends forever. Oh, that one looks good. Look at Jan operating as the tortoise does. Oh, it's working. Feeling a bit rejected. This turtle just turned away. Cerrado. It's cerrado. <laughs> You can do it. Just back in. Back in. <clears throat> yes, reverse. There you go. Just put those legs right through and shimmy. Keep going. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. I was doing that all wrong. Apparently, you can just lift it up. Jeez, that's not light though. You gotta go on the, you gotta have somebody lift up on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Just let me know if I'm pitching it. Okay. It's like, it's like okay. turtle yoga. That's it. Yay! Yay! <laughs> she's, she's going on a search for some vegetation. <laughs> Santa Cruz, it's been good. We hung out with Las Tortugas. We danced. 
And we'll be back in a few days. Time to get back on the boat now. <laughs> okay, it's our second to last day now and I'm about to go out and hang out with some sea lions and I just saw an owl which was dope and I'm pretty much obsessed with sea lions. I like can't get enough of them. I saw them this morning and there were iguanas and that was super cool. So hopefully I'll be able to hang out with them on the beach now. I'm suited up. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. down south called Española and this is known for the um, uh, albatross. <laughs> I think it's the only island where you can see an albatross. The islands every stop has been so different. The animals that we've seen, I'm really glad that we came despite the civil unrest. It was pretty nerve-wracking at first because I didn't want to bring a group of people here in two weeks if it's gonna be crazy still but it sounds like it'll be fine. So it's been smooth sailing literally and gonna go explore today and enjoy the last day before switching to backpacking and diving mode. Back again, back again. <laughs> oh, sweet home. Oh yeah. Okay, first 20 minutes in Santa Cruz and things are pretty good. <laughs> Hammock in the room. We're really easy to please. <laughs> Just hanging out in Puerto Ayora. This is the fish market. So it's covered in pelicans. <laughs> and that guy. Let's not forget that guy. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Getting very sidetracked on the way to the dive shop. But this is so cool. This looks like a boob. This is so strange. I like strange. It's a strange little town, but I like it. After a day of diving, we asked a local for the best restaurant, and he said Cafe Del Mar, so let's find out if it was right. It's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> but very good. Facts. <laughs> it's 6.20 in the morning and we are getting ready to go to San Cristobal on this lovely ferry that you can't see yet. Just narrowly balancing the bags on. Oh, there goes mine. <laughs> Great. took about twice as long as I expected it to, but I didn't puke, so that's winning. <laughs> Boobies! Lots of boobies. Oh. Iguanas. Boobies. Sea lions. Oh, oh, pelicano. Crabs. Oh my god. I don't know what happened, but I have been nauseous for like three days. I don't think it's something I ate anymore at this point. I'm like dying though. 
I've never experienced this before, not since I was like eight. I have to pick up the group today to start our tour and I'm just like, <sighs> oh, a lot of extreme ups and downs related to this trip. <laughs>